हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट नेक्स्ट जजुनो खोल गैस्ट्रो जजुनो खोलिक फिस्चुला सो इन द गैस्ट्रो जजुनो खोलिक फिस्चुला ए फिस्चुला अकर्स बिटवीन द stomach gastro is stomach jejuno is jejunum and colon that is a fistula is formed between the transverse colon and upper part of jejunum this occurs after billroth 2 procedure after a billroth 2 procedure so if you draw a diagram this is the billroth 2 procedure okay okay after billroth 2 procedure a fistula develops between the transverse colon which is present here and this is the jejunum so upper jejunum a fistula is developed which is called has gastro jejuno colic fistula and because of this the food which is present in the uh, stomach from there it enters the duodenum the jejunum and from the jejunum it enters into the transverse colon directly so all the small bubble is bypassed in this way so as a result there is sudden when once the patient eats the food suddenly the patient feels to um, that is diarrhea will also occur in the patient so there is diarrhea is seen with epigastric pain the patient develops diarrhea epigastric pain and also uh, the patient might have uh, gastrointestinal bleeding can occur so not only the food will enter from here but whenever the patient tries to vomit so even while the patient tries to vomit even the fecal matter which is present in the transverse colon might be vomited also so there is feculent vomiting can occur so there is fecal erection feculent erection that is bad smell from the mouth uh, is seen along with that there is fecal vomiting may also be seen in the patient and slowly the patient does not feel like eating food and thus the patient develops weight loss and weakness is also seen in the patient along with that the other symptoms like uh, the patient might have anemia leukocytosis electrolyte disturbances and hypoalbuminemia are also seen in the patient then diagnosis of gastro jejuno colic fistula gastro jejuno colic fistula is diagnosed mainly by the barium minima is involved for the diagnosis of gastro jejuno colic fistula so investigation of choice for diagnosis of gastro jejuno colic fistula is by barium minima and endoscopy barium minima can diagnose the fistula in around 95 to 100% of the cases barium minima can diagnose the fistula then we have treatment so in the treatment we have his first previously they used to do a two three procedure staged procedures are done two to three staged procedures operations are done and two to three staged operations are done which involves primary diversion colectomy first and foremost they will do a colostomy that is if this is the fistula so prior to the fistula they will just do a colostomy first so that the uh, content sorry after the fistula they will do a colostomy first so that the contents can be drained out directly and also we have to do and then we can do uh, that is two to three staged operation with preliminary diversion colostomy is done and even three staged operations like uh, first we have diversion colostomy so what are the steps in three staged operations in three staged operations first we do a colostomy after colostomy we will resect the fistula and do, do colostomy closure first a colostomy is done and if this is the fistula and later we will close the fistula and then the colostomy is anastomosed back again so this is the treatment of gastro jejuno colic fistula this is this they used to do in the past but right now today but now now we actually uh, now nowadays if we do a parenteral and first we give parenteral and enteral treatment are given to the patient and as a support treatment is given to the patient and then we do a one staged procedure is done to the patient followed by a one staged resection is done to the patient
Thank you and thank you for watching.